Hi guys, we're going to replace this light with a ceiling fan from B&Q. Got a nice set of instructions here, step by step, telling you to do things right, like switch off at the mains. How to assemble the bits. Depending whether you've got a concrete ceiling or a wooden ceiling. 99% certain we've got a wooden ceiling here. Just like doing one of those wooden kits that I do. When you've put it all together, you've then got to balance the blades. Got little weights to slide along to try and reduce the vibration. That'll be fun. So, first thing we'll do is have a look in the box and check everything's there. I don't think I'll bother video in that though. Right, first of all we'll turn the mains off. So if we put the light on first, so we know it's on. And then we come to here, where it is all nicely labelled. Uh, let's put the light on. Can we put the light on? Oh, it won't let me put the light on. That's better. Whoa, nice and bright. Lights, ground floor, sockets, kitchen, lights, first floor, water heater, sockets, cooker. So if I push that one down, it should turn that light off. And there we are. It's off. But we'll leave it switched on. So yeah, now we've got to get up there and take that one down. Right. So that's the old light fitting which is hanging loose. Hmm, looks like that's overheated at some time or other. But we've got blue, brown and earth. That's good. Plenty of slack there. This is old star wiring, so we got red and black, whereas the modern is brown and blue. And the middle one's the earth. We're out of focus. There we go. Right, next step. This is the uh, ceiling mount, the bit that screws to the ceiling. You've got to unscrew that screw and that screw. That's so that we can twist the, um, the rest of it into place. So we put these somewhere where we won't lose them. And then we'll see about fixing this to the ceiling. Right, main thing here is we've got to identify a suitable bit of wood to screw into so it's supported. Yeah, I can't do that one-handed, so 
I will do that and then we'll come back. Right, these are su the supplied screws. Oh, I'm quite impressed. They supply a spring washer and a washer and a screw. That's good. Right, that's one screw in place. I'm going to go down to the floor so I can just check that we've got this aligned as well as we can to match the original uh, stain on the ceiling. Right, that's in place. So now, I've got the wiring to do, which is simple enough. It's labelled on the base, and it's lab and uh, to be honest, the live and neutral makes no difference whatsoever in this case. So it wouldn't matter whether I put the red to the brown or the red to the blue going across that way because it's just going through the light. Anyway, we will do that. I'm rather pleased they've got it plug ended. Have I already said that? So we can do all this and then we plug the rest of it in place. So there we are, screwed in place, wired up. Now to attach the rest of it. So step five, take it up there. It's got a little hook to hang it on while you're working on it. Plug it together and then Where are we? Put the screws in. I see some of them are bayonet fitting, and then the others hold it in place, which is why you had to take the right ones out. Right. Well, having carefully prepared that, I had got the wrong screws out. This does finally go up there. Those are the ones that have to, has to be that one, that one. Anyway, what I wanted to try out was this bit where we hang that on a hook, hands free. So we can now plug this in. And it only goes one way. So. We're plugged in. Now, we unhook that. Make sure those things are not as far as they go. And this fella. Let's move it on there. A little bit more. There we are, supporting itself. Uh, I don't think that earth wire is supposed to be hanging around underneath there. So that's no good.
bit. Tapeworm there. That's for some sort of adjustment. Right, that's that bit done. Right, up here we've got an alignment thing. There. So that's aligned. Okay, now we've got to put the, the blades together. Now we'll look at assembling the blades. I don't really think we need to film that. Perfectly good diagram there. Right, metal plate in there. Screw direct through, then a washer, then a spring washer, and then a nut. I'll do that a couple more times. Screw, washer, spring washer. Nut, last one, screw, washer, spring washer, nut. Obviously we then need to tighten them all up and then repeat three more times. That's our four blades. So now I've got to get back up the steps, undo the screws on the top of the motor and put the blades on one at a time. Now I did see somebody's review of this suggesting just putting two blades on and balancing it and then putting the other two on. I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? We'll see how we get on. Right, so we need to unscrew two of these. Because my hand is in the way, but there you go, we've unscrewed two, and then we need an assistant to pass us a blade. There we go, magic. Blades go with the metal bit on the bottom. And while I'm 
doing this, I'm thinking I really should have put gloves on or something so I don't get sweaty fingers on the white surface. Too late now. Right, that'll do. You only need to film one of them. So we've got the blades in place. Haven't done any balancing yet, but we will put a light bulb in. Because we have to do that before we put the cover on. rubber protector there and trying to make sure the screws go into the rubber. Okay, we don't want to over tighten that. Just put it into glass. seem to be in place. So now we're going to put the light back on. Are you ready? On there. On there. Ooh, that's a bit bright, isn't it? <laughs> See how much it warms around. And we've got to try and balance that. <laughs> up there and see if I can see any unevenness without putting my head in the blade. it up against the wall over there see if I can see one going low. Hmm. This is going to be fun. I 
think we can stop filming. You might be able to see I've got the black weight on there to counterbalance it. Still wobbling a bit. That's better than it was. Hmm. One of those things you could probably spend days on. Well, the idea is once you're happy with its balance, you then put sticky back weights on there in the position where we got that black clip and that would be the permanent fix I'm not going to put them on there at the moment I'm going to leave it for a while because that's sort of wobbling more now than it was when we started so I think that's as much as I'm going to film for now well as much as I'm going to film so I'm going to call that job done even though I'm going to play with the balance a little bit right I wasn't going to bother filming this because we're doing one of the bedroom lights but it is worth showing it this one's actually got three cables coming to it that will be the the ring in other words the uh, the, the main power go into this light and to the other lights on this floor so that's the black and red black in black out red in red out and then we got from the red there goes up a separate wire and comes back on the black that's actually the on off switch so these go straight through and that's the on off switch so we need to replicate that inside the um, light fitting that we're going to fit the fan unit. So this one's just a little bit more complicated. I've also got to try and find another bit of wood because it only had one screw in it, this one. But I'll sort that out. That's, I'm not going to do a separate video on this. Right, to allow for the extra wires, we need one more connector, which I just happen to have in my box. So the live will come through the hole into there, back out again, down to the light switch, then back from the light switch to the live. So that's an extra connector there. The neutral, we've got to get all the three wires into there. So, uh, yeah, neutrals join together. The live comes in, goes away to the switch, and then back again. Right, not sure if we can see this clearly, but the lives are all common together there in that extra socket. Then that one is the one that goes away to the switch and comes back on the black, which I've put into the live there. And the neutrals are all together. Yeah, neutrals are all together in the neutral. And the earths are all together in the earth. So it's just the switch that made life a little bit more complicated. That's probably all out of focus, sorry about that. Yeah, hope that makes sense. So now we should be back to where we were downstairs. Just plug it in, put it in place and balance it. Well, this is the bedroom one. We've just adjusted the balance on this one and it seems better than the one downstairs. I'm suggesting we leave the temporary balance on there rather than put the sticky ones on just to see whether anything changes. So that's it, job done, two fans fitted. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here, is my latest video on my channel 
and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.